is a young modern uh, concept. Uh, you can see that the color combination we are using uh, black, uh, gray, and uh, Makata uh, pink color for a combination for this uh, entire uh, design. In general, it's actually a very energetic, digital, uh, personality, and creative. And we use these four criteria to uh, design it this showcase. Okay, well, Scandastro is basically a term that we coined uh, some time back. as basically two styles, uh, Scandinavian as well as industrial, two styles coming together. The proportion is 70-30, uh, Scandinavian being about 30 and uh, the 70% will be industrialism. Um, Scandastro is basically used as a, a Gen Y um, interior design here because we feel that this is what the Gen Y, the millennials are looking for in the interior space. Something that's loud, has got a lot of character and has got certain quirky elements inside there uh, in the fuse in this show. Basically, um, what we try to do is we try to redefine this the bonus of hierarchy between this architecture element, furniture and the behavior of these inhabitants or the user. Um, the biggest challenge is um, the, the space is small, it's about 330 square feet and we need to uh, um, design to uh, a space, a small space uh, with, with kitchen, uh, kitchen area and living area. Yeah, everything must look great and with the wow effect, this, this is uh, not an easy way. The smallest that we have worked with is actually as big as three uh, car park lots. Uh, so when you have that, uh, then what you want to what, what you want to employ in that kind of interior design besides the the, the harmony, the balance and the colors and all that. And that's the typical part of the interior design. The next level of course is to increase the mileage of the design. That means form and function as well. You want to be able to uh, have storages and all that and not make your place look like that there are plenty of cabinets. What you want is to create a balance as well. So you want storage function, you want to be able to reflect your lifestyle and then Gen Y, the Gen Y, the millennials, they're all about that, having to be able to tell their story. Yes, it's really hard. That, that's what, that, uh, what we're trying to do is um, to, to design this form and then it's up to us to how to use it. It's like, uh, uh, it's like a tree. You know, the, the branch is having like different height and it's like how we adapt to that space. So that's what we're trying to do. We, we, we try to you know, study a bit of, uh, more on the agronomic, uh, agronomics so yeah. and then uh, we try to put all those uh, dimensions and then uh, the inhabitants can suit their, their character or their, their use to that, to that object. Yeah. Uh, we don't Some, somehow less is more, try not to get too, ma uh, too much of your stuff, uh, get those things that is necessary and then you uh, practical, uh, this is not our advice. I think a lot of people um, deal with design as uh, an aesthetic answer. Uh, they tend to look at the designers as decorators and they say, oh I want my place to be beautiful and all that. Uh, but the, the notion is actually this, uh, design uh, cannot be done DIY. The design is a professional's work. Uh, what we do is we deal with functions, structural, sometimes law related as well. Um, and the, the millennials like to move into uh, a lot of DIY. They think that oh, I can do this, I can do that, I can take a uh, palette and then I make it into a coffee table and stuff like that. But that will work, but that's from a decoration point of view. Uh, design, we go a little bit deeper, we try to find function, we try to understand lifestyle. Be as adventurous as you can. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, usually we have this space, which is uh, this architecture element, and this you just put in your furniture. That's it. So that, that that's what we're trying to do. We try we try to um, tone down all these boundaries, which is the your architecture element can become your furniture, and your furniture also can become your like compartment and everything. Uh, so try to be adventurous to uh, mix up all these things. Then I think it should be okay.